Hey guys, this is Eric Wangana of Wangana Racing with another video. This one is about this Profiler small block Chevy uh, manifold. Now this one's supposed to be the one that Wilson designed and created. And uh, I'm going to end up porting this anyway. And I know you're, some of you are thinking, why would you port something that I thought was already supposed to be perfect from the factory? Because, you know, Wilson ported it and, uh, and then designed this. This thing should be amazing. Yeah. There are some little tricks to it, uh, but I do want to point out some things because a lot of people are to give me, have been giving me some bit of a issue. I want you to look at these dividers. See how thin they are? Now Wilson's been porting manifolds for a long, long time. When people I do uh, dividers and they're twice that thick, people are like, you knife edge them, that's horrible. This is how it comes. So just something to think about. Is it right or wrong? See what I mean? All right, I do want to, I'm going to shine my light right there. See that little divot? I have no idea why that's there. I'm sure it's something to do with wet flow. But Wilson designed it for that way. Honestly, the manifold itself looks really, really well. Um, it's extended out on the side, so the plenum volumes itself well. They move together, the dividers. Um, it looks really well. And even though these dividers are thin, um, it gives more area in different places. And I've told you before, with manifolds themselves, everything's a compromise. So yeah, you can make them thicker and rounder. Um, it would sound great, except for you're gonna lose area. And I'll show, by the way, better view whenever this is off. But right now I have attached a head and I'm getting ready to flow it to show you. But anyway, um, so it's got a lot of good things there. My other thing I really like is, and you can't see it from this view, but the way it enters the head, it is a much straighter shot and a better thing. Uh, I like it. It also comes cast with these, so if you could drill and you could put in, you don't have to have welded in injector bungs. They're already here. You can just drill and drill and tap here, and you can run your fuel injector stuff, your EFI if you wanted, which is a really nice deal. However, the disadvantage of this intake is it's extremely expensive. For all the small block Chevy intakes that are out there, this one's probably $30 to $40 higher. So, a little pricey. Anyway, um, what I have here that it's float on this is another set of Dragon Slayers. I've got the taped up because I'm trying to protect my logo so I don't get scratched while I'm porting. But this is a set of Dragon Slayers. It's my 242 standard. It doesn't have the wing or nothing. Um, it flows on this bench, the Superflow bench. It's a Superflow 750. This one flows 336 at peak. On the Sanya, it went 330. So it's about 6 CFM higher on this thing. But it doesn't matter. I'm wrapping up the test and I'm going to flow it like this. Now, this is a completely ass cast. This manifold's actually not gonna be even ported to this uh, head. I've got a set of profilers I have to port and this is gonna get matched with it. So, but I just happened to come in so you can show you right out of the box what you're thinking. Now, I'm gonna flow it two ways. By the way, this is at one inch valve lift. So I said it flows 336, it does it at one inch valve lift. So I've got it as, the head's gonna move as much air as it's going to right now. Um, this is attached, I've taped off this side they're blocked off on those, so it can't really pull air. Um, I mean, I'm sure it could pull maybe one or two CFM, but not after matter um, over there. So the only one that's really going to pull for them is going to be this one. And we're going to see what happens. I'm going to flow it just like that. Then I'm going to take, if you watch my other test, this is a Holly Sniper throttle body. I used to have all the injectors and I took all that out. This is the Stealth one, so it's a little bit different. It's supposed to flow 870 CFM. However, it works great for what I'm doing for like tests like this. So I'm going to go ahead and Flow it just like it is without anything on, just kind of show you. And remember, the head flows 336. So let's see how much this manifold uh, hurts it, okay, or helps it. Uh, let's face it, any single plane manifold is going to lose. I'm going to set my camera down for just a sec, put on my things. All right, there will be the flow numbers right here. Here we go. like it flows 266 CFM with this thing attached. So it knocked off a ton. Now, maybe it'll get better when I attach the throttle body, because sometimes it does. So we're just gonna put this on here. Use a little screw to hold it down. Or nut, I shouldn't say screw. Okay. 
Okay. Back this a little bit. You won't get to see this. Sorry, I'm blocking you. What I'm gonna end up doing is taking this out and hopefully I can flow it with it. And then we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna leave it like this just to start it and then I'll move it myself. Here we go. so you can see what it did. So it flows 260 something CFM, it doesn't even hit 270. So out of the box, um, to me it's not a winner, at least on this. So it still has to be port matched and a bunch of other stuff. I'm sure that would help as well. But this just kind of gives you an idea where it's at. Um, anyway, so let me uh, take it apart so you can get a better view of what the intake looks like and we'll go from there. I'm not knocking it, I'm, this is just out of the box. Many of them do the same. And besides, we're just strictly looking at airflow. It's really hard to compare. You can't, just because things move a lot of air on the flow bench or less, doesn't necessarily always translate to more horsepower. When it's off this much though, if you're going, say if you had another manifold, same sizing or very similar sizing, but it was up 20 CFM and it was the same runner length and stuff, it's probably gonna make more power. Um, so, but anyway, there are some different advantages with this manifold that might help it make more power than what the CFM indicates. So, but anyway, let me show you. Okay, here's the manifold. Hope you get a better view of it. This is looking down this way. You could tell the plenum has moved over on this side, in case you're wondering what view we're looking at. It's definitely moved back this way, which is great. It adds more plenum volume. But as you could tell, the dividers are really thin and they're squared off, they're not rounded. It doesn't really help flow. Um, but like I say, if you look at the down at the runners themselves, it looks really nice. The area is good and everything's good there. Um, let me turn it so you can see this view, hopefully. There you go. You can also see, see how it's curved down at the bottom? Um, I haven't seen too many manifolds that way. So I'm sure there's some kind of trick to that. I, I don't typically do that unless it's by casting flaw. And I've never seen that there. So I'm assuming it's something to do with wet flow. It sounds like I'm an idiot with this stuff, and I probably am. But uh, I do a ton of manifolds, but I just haven't seen that. So I'm sure they've done some testing and found out to be worthy. I have never seen it in any other manifolds. I have seen them curve down like this at the bottom. So I've seen them, but usually when they do that, they have them come out further this way and then down this way. Almost looks like, they call them elephant ears or whatever. At least that's a term I've heard. This way and then curve in. But I've never seen it where it's so kind of straight and then still curve back that way. My guess is to come off here and scoop and get the air in. But if you look, they did it on the other side at the same spot where that divot is. So I'm sure that has something to do with that, okay? But this is how the port match comes. It's not the greatest, but it works. You can see where the manifold, where the head was sitting. It does have though a pretty good straight shot here, which is nice. I like that. Because a lot of them right here, what they do is they, this turns all the way in and it's really sharp edge here. And if you want to think this is a short side, it has none because it's turning like that. This one actually has plenty, so it's way better. It's also better this way. And one of my other things I like is the transition at the top. It's very important on the entry here um, to the head to get this part right, and they did. I know it may not show up on the flow bench, but there's a lot of stuff still yet to be finished out. Poor match and other things probably gonna help. So right through here, I'm liking it. So there's a lot of good things. Also, they've notched out here to save, for instance, my Dragon Slayers. We've actually got a water passage here, so that makes it handy. Anyway, there's a lot to go with this. Hopefully, if you keep watching my channel, you'll see this fully ported later on. It's be a while before I get it all done, and you'll see how much it actually changes from this. All right, guys, thanks for watching.